topology research investigates the molecules behind interactions, communication between different organisms. Now, I will explain how this research is important to solve biological problems with real life outcomes in conservation biology and agriculture. My research focuses on pollination chemistry, where we are investigating the chemicals involved where insects finding, the pollinators finding the plant. And here we can see the Western Australian spider orchid that this, comp this flower is using the same compounds to find the pollinators as the females of the wasps attracting the males. That's sexual deception. And what we can do in our lab here at UWA is that we can actually analyze these flowers and separate the hundreds of compounds in here and find a few sexual attractants that are needed for pollination. And here we put these compounds on the pin. We can see the male wasp here trying to copulate with this pin. We can see the genitalia out there. That's actually how we can confirm that we found the right compound. <laughs> and these compounds can be used in conservation projects because when we're trying to save species of orchids, we actually translocate them into new territory, new habitat, and then we have to know that the pollinators are there. So rather than these poor flowers, we sacrifice the flowers, we can use the compounds. And it's important because these orchids actually constitute about 10% of the endangered flowers in West Australia. Another example where pollination chemistry is important to solve biological problems is in crop research. Most crops, such as carrot, are using honeybees as the pollinators. And in Australia, there are more than 100,000 tons of carrot produced every year. The problem here is, again, pollination, because carrot flowers are not very attractive to the pollinators. And as chemists, we can actually look at the carrots and see the floor loaders, we can look at the nectar, we can look at the pollen, and analyzing these things and try to figure out what's stopping these bees from being attracted to the carrot. And what's actually giving them bad memories, they're not coming back for pollination. So, and the point here is that we can actually use these traits for breeding programs. So in short, the chemical research can actually be used both for biological conservation to find the pollinators for the rare flowers, and also in these more economically relevant crop production in terms of getting yields up for seeds. Thank you.